Welcome back. Uh, we're still uh, with the Grand Egyptian Museum. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi uh, gave his directives uh, in order to finalize uh, the final touches uh, uh, for the uh, Grand Egyptian uh, Museum uh, using the latest standards in order to reflect uh, uh, the magnificent uh, uh, Egyptian uh, civilization. Well, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have this uh, phone with Mr. Said Ali Taha, historian and researcher. Good morning, Mr. Taha. Good morning. Mr. Taha, uh, now uh, can we uh, say that uh, the Grand Egyptian Museum is almost ready and is almost uh, uh, finished? I think so, because uh, if you pass there, you will find the uh, facade and the uh, around the museum is finished already. Uh, and uh, I think the preparation is going for the inner uh, Basically, the design the the objects and also the um, you know uh, the preparation for the artifact to be ready in the great uh, sector. So, uh, in, uh, sometimes uh, we are going to finish. It. I think uh, the inauguration is intended to be at the end of this year. Yes. But we are not sure yet about this topic because, uh, as you know, this year will be uh, the anniversary of the discovery of King Tutankhamun. It will be passed uh, like uh, 200 years because yes. that tomb was discovered in 1922. And uh, that will uh, uh, celebrate the anniversary of King Tutankhamun uh, tomb. I think uh, they are going to inaugurate it, and especially what was done by Dr. Zai Hawass, the professor of Egyptian he wrote a poem, or what we call it, opera, uh, to celebrate uh, the inauguration of the uh, museum, uh, or the gym, the founded museum. Yes, uh, um, uh, sir, you've just, uh, Mr. Taha, you've just mentioned uh, King Tutankhamun and uh, the discovery, 200 years that have passed on the discovery of uh, uh, the king's uh, tut uh, 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 tomb. Uh, so um, uh, the collection of uh, uh, Tutankhamun, King Tutankhamun, uh, which is uh, m around 5,000 pieces, is going to be displayed or showed in the Grand Egyptian uh, uh, Museum. So. Um, why are all the, peop the, the people in the world and even in Egypt going crazy with uh, King Tutankhamun and his belongings and the treasures uh, uh, he uh, um, uh, has? Um, is it because the, the tomb was discovered and uh, the colors are, uh, were, were still there and the gold, everything was still there? Could you give us your insight concerning, concerning this? Yeah, uh, actually the tomb of King Tutankhamun is almost the only one who was found intact in the belly of the king. And you are uh, talking about the um, a young king, uh, just a boy when he gets the throne, he was uh, somehow like 10 years old, and he died young as well, uh, maybe at uh, 20, 21 years old. So he yes. stayed in the bar like 10 years. And his time, or his reign, wasn't that reign of uh, prosper or uh, good economy of the country. It yes. was uh, a, a time of uh, decay, because he followed his father, Akhenaten, who changed the uh, religion, and he moved the capital from Thebes or Luxor to a new site that we call it uh, Amarna. And uh, the country at that time, or the Egypt at that time, was uh, upside down. Everything was uh, uh, going uh, uh, in uh, ruin. Uh, yes. It was a big, like, a kind of conflict between the power ship and the uh, British boat. Uh, and they, they obliged and they forced Tutankhamun to move from uh, the Amarna, or the new capital, to a new site, uh, or to the old site, sorry, uh, uh, or uh, Thebes. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, Tutankhamun became so famous because of the, that propaganda was done uh, during the beginning of the 19th century, uh, sorry, the 20th century in 1922, especially uh, with the, the living expect that they are going to find a lot of things in the tomb of King Tutankhamun but they found uh, so many uh, things in uh, the tomb, and that wasn't expected 
uh, to be uh, uh, in the pool. So yeah. it became so fi- famous. The young king and uh, his tomb was full of these things. Yes. Imagine one of the powerful kings, Tutmosis or Ramesses. What was his treasury? I think was like 20 or 30 times bigger than the, uh, the tomb of King Tutankhamun. But unfortunately, uh, Yes. Yes. Mr. Sayed? Okay, I thank you very much for your time, for your valuable information. Uh, Mr. Sayed Ali Taha, historian and researcher. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for following me in this segment. My name is uh, Amal Mukhtar. I leave you with my colleague, Nermeen Abdurrahman.